We witness various kinds of cyber attacks every day, and no matter how hard we try to stop them, it gets more and more difficult every day to fight. Most cyber attacks are fairly mundane. In the worst cases, the user sees an on-screen ransom demand explaining that the computer is encrypted and can only be unlocked after payment. Oftentimes, however, nothing visible happens at all. Many types of malware act as surreptitiously as possible to maximize data theft before being spotted. But with some cyber attacks, their scale or sophistication cannot fail to attract attention. So, here is a video dedicated to the 10 most spectacular and notorious cyber attacks of the last decade. Starting off with number 10, we have Melissa Virus 1999. One of the fast-spreading macroviruses, the Melissa virus was distributed as an email attachment that, when opened, disabled a number of backups in Word 97 or Word 2000. And if the user had a Microsoft Outlook email program, the virus would immediately resend emails to the first 50 people in each of the user's address books. Although not losing files or other tools, Melissa had the ability to kill corporate and other mail servers as the ripple of email distribution became a much larger wave. The virus arrived in an attachment to to an email note with the subject line important message from someone and body text that read here is that document you asked for don't show anyone else smiley face the attachment was often named list.doc if the recipient clicked on the attachment the infecting file managed its way to the computer storage on friday march the 26th 1999 melissa directed the microsoft company to close the incoming email intel and other companies have also reported being affected Second on our list, and at number 9, we have the I Love You Worm from 2000. The I Love You virus is a computer virus or worm. It started spreading through an email in 2000. And this I Love You virus is one of the most well-known and worst computer viruses of all time. The I Love You virus was released in the wild from the Philippines right after the Melissa virus problem had been resolved. Tens of millions of Windows PCs were targeted on and after the 5th of May 2000. Notably, while the Melissa was a virus attack, the I Love You digital threat came in the form of a worm virus. The I Love You virus, also referred to as Love Letter or Love Bug, was activated as an email message with the subject line I Love You and the attachment Love Letter For You. Text.VBS. Victims who unintentionally opened the attachment activated the Visual Basic script. The malicious program quickly started to overwrite random types of files, and that included image, office, and audio files. But the virus would hide the file after overwriting MP3 files and send out emails to all addresses in the Windows address book, attaching a copy of itself. And in at number 8, we have the My Doom Worm from 2004. The MyDoom or Novag virus is another worm that created a loophole on the victim's operating system and left behind devastating effects. The initial MyDoom virus, there have been many variants, has had two causes. One trigger caused the virus to launch a denial of service DOS attack beginning on the 1st of February 2004. Although the second cause ordered the virus to stop spreading itself on the 12th of February 2004. In 2004, the virus became known and famous for trying to hit major tech companies like Google and Microsoft. Like other viruses, MyDoom scanned victims' computers for email addresses as part of its replication process. It used to be spread by email using attention-grabbing subjects such as error, test, and mail delivery system. Eventually, search engines like Google started receiving millions of search requests from compromised systems. These attacks slowed down search engine services and even caused some of them to crash. MyDoom was used for DDoS attacks and as a backdoor to allow remote control. The losses are estimated, according to reports, to be in the millions of dollars. In at number 7, we have the Zeus Trojan from 2007. Zeus Virus or Zeus Trojan is a form of malicious software that targets Microsoft Windows and is often used to steal financial data. First detected in 2007, the virus spread via malicious files embedded in emails and fake websites, in cases involving phishing. It is well known for propagating rapidly and copying keystrokes, which has led to widespread use of this strategy in cases of login and password theft, such as email accounts and bank accounts. The Zeus attacks have affected big corporations such as Amazon, Bank of America, and Cisco. The damage caused by Zeus and its variations has been estimated at more than $100 million since its formation in 2007. Number 6 brings us the Stuxnet worm of 2010. Known for its use in a diplomatic assault on Iran's nuclear program back in 2010, and for leveraging various Windows zero-day vulnerabilities, Stuxnet was one of a kind. 
Rather than actually hijacking or stealing targeted machines from them, it avoided the digital domain of physical destruction on computer-controlled devices. This super-sophisticated worm has the potential to infect computers with USB drives, so there is no need for an internet connection. When installed, the malware is responsible for controlling the system. It is believed to have been established at the behest of some nation. Halfway through and in at number 5, we have CryptoLocker Ransomware from 2013. A form of ransomware that has infected about 250,000 Windows computers, according to a report by security researchers. CryptoLocker basically scrambles users' data and then demands a fee to unencrypt it alongside a countdown clock. The virus initially spread via spam emails that asked the user to click on a zip archive extension identified as being a customer complaint about the recipient's organization. Later, it was distributed via malware attached to emails claiming there had been a problem clearing a check. Clicking the associated link downloaded a Trojan horse called Game Over Zeus, which in turn installed CryptoLocker onto the victim's PC. And at number 4, we have Petia Ransomware from 2016. This virus, unlike most ransomware, works by blocking the machine's entire Windows system, and in order to release it, the victim has to pay a ransom. The estimated losses regarding this virus amount to 10 billion US dollars since it was released in 2016. The virus mostly got attracted to bigger victims like banks, airports, and oil and shipping companies from different parts of the world. At number 3, we have the WannaCry ransomware from 2017. One of the worst ransomware attacks in history that caused losses exceeding an amount of 4 billion US dollars. WannaCry was introduced via phishing emails in 2017. Ransomware does this by either encrypting valuable files so you are unable to read them, or by locking you out of your computer so you are not able to use it. And in order to get access, you must pay the ransom money. It's estimated that more than 200,000 people have been reached worldwide by WannaCry, including hospitals, universities, and large companies such as FedEx, Telefonica, Nissan, and Renault. And for the penultimate number two, we have the Emotet Trojan of 2018. This is a virus that has been described as one of the most dangerous and destructive malwares in the US Homeland Security Agency. The virus gained so much publicity that it was implicated in cases of financial information fraud, such as bank login and cryptocurrencies. The US Department of Homeland Security released an Emotet alert in July 2018, describing it as an advanced modular banking trojan that primarily acts as a downloader or dropper of other banking trojans, and warning that it is very difficult to fight, capable of escaping traditional signature-based detection, and determined to spread. Two striking cases are the case of the Chilean Bank Consortio, with damages of 2 million US dollars, and the case of the city of Allentown, Pennsylvania, with losses of 1 million dollars. And finally, we have our number one, COVIDLock Ransomware 2020. The latest case of a mega cyber attack, COVIDLock Ransomware has been the talk of the town lately. Cybercriminals have recently been busy attempting to hack coronavirus for their own illicit activities. As such, the spread of COVID-19 has led to a spike in phishing emails and other malware intended to entrap people looking for knowledge about the virus. A new form of ransomware known as COVIDLock encrypts key data on an Android device and refuses access to victims until they pay for it, according to the threat analysis company Domain Tools. This type of ransomware infects victims via malicious files, promising to offer more information about the disease. However, the problem is that once installed, COVIDLock encrypts data from Android devices and denies data access to victims. In order to get access to your own device once again, you must pay a ransom of $100 per device. You better keep an eye out for that one. Before you leave, here's a bonus for you two ways to protect your devices from these viruses. Firstly, keep yourself updated with all the recent viruses and spread cybersecurity awareness. And secondly, always keep an antivirus installed on your devices. Keeping an eye out for suspicious emails and keeping a strong email network in case of larger companies is extremely important.